Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Bill Chase and the Movies and this is my big return edition. I got 12 new movies to review for you this week and we're going to kick things right off with 2012, a new disaster flick from Roland Emmerich who is of course known for directing these type of films. And usually a film like 2012 has that you know historical day in 2012 which people theorize is going to the world is going to end. Well, there's really no poignancy here. There's really no true epic nature. There's no epic nature in this film. It's merely John Cusack playing an action hero among special effects. But you know what? It was fun. Now, everybody knows I've been very hard on action movies this year. Because it's, well, let's face it, it's been a dreadful year for them. But, however, I, I, I couldn't help but enjoy this. This was a good movie. Good, not great. John Cusack looks like he's having a good time playing the action hero here, so I can't I can't help but enjoy him. He seems to be he's a guy who's not just there to collect a paycheck. He will give any effort in any movie he does. Now, as I said before, this movie serves no historical poignancy. The rest of the cast is subpar at best. But the thing you gotta realize about these movies is that sometimes that's all it's made to do. Roland Emmerich just likes to blow things up and make it look good. And let me tell you, the special effects do look spectacular. I wasn't expecting anything else in this film, but it flowed. Maybe the plot line didn't flow that good, but it flowed enough. Sometimes you just gotta pick your battles of action films, and if I had to choose one this year that was cut above most, it's this one. Besides uh, other films like Surrogates and uh, Law Abiding Citizen, action films have just been dreadful this year for the most part. Not even just moderately bad, they've been just dreadful. This is not dreadful. Any John Cusack fan I recommend, because here's a guy who is just, he goes over the top only at the right times where it calls for it. Like the scenes where he's on the phone. You remember? I remember him doing that in Con Air as well. But the thing about John Cusack that I can't help but respect is the fact that he knows the movie around him. He's very aware of what's there. I find many great actors, some of the greatest of all time, have been trapped in movies where they just don't know what's going on, it seems. Well, after watching Al Pacino in 88 Minutes, that sadly was a reality. 2012 doesn't really serve any big purpose other than me just a good action entertainer. So on that basis, it's better than most of them this year. I'm giving it three stars out of five for 2012.